but you can't hide from the much east cameras, as uh, Moncton's monoxides found out recently. Uh, Kevin Hilliard, my uh, ex-assistant, who's uh, the intrepid drummer for the Grace Babies, tracked them down in a studio in Toronto with the Pursuit of Happiness's Mo Berg, working the faders. All right, thanks, Mike. This is Mr. Kevin Hilliard, standing by in Toronto, Canada. You're a much east reporter on the go, and today we are here to interview one of the biggest bands in rock from Moncton, New Brunswick, the Monoxides, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for the Monoxides. Here they are in the back of their van. Of our broken, in of van. Our broken into van. The van got broken into a couple nights ago. They stole our stereo and everything and... Came back for the speakers. Made a mess of everything. This is where they get in. Elbowed that in and then... So advice for some uh, young bands, don't get the butterfly mirror things? Yeah. And don't tape them off after the first break-in. So we'll come back two days later do the same thing. Now we just don't even lock our doors. Okay, now what is the difference between the recording of this album and the recording of your last album? I know there's several differences. What are the main points, would you say? This one took longer than an hour and a half to do. My next question is, uh, how are the uh, songs different from this stuff from the, uh, from the last time around? More glammy, more, more rock and roll. With a new wave of Canadian glam metal. The, uh, the producer on this big full-length LP is one Mr. Mo Berg from uh, world-renowned Pursuit of Happiness. Now, how has he, uh, he influenced this little project of yours? He was there in the 70s, and we were born in the 70s. <laughs> he has a lot of good influences. Like 70s rock influences, like bands that we didn't know that much about, and he brought, you know, some of the records and listened to them, and sent Steve a record, so he brought that feeling that, you know. Yeah, he knew exactly what we wanted the record to sound like, and he's taught, he's taught me that simple is better for a recording scenario. You, you guys have sort of had your own little way of writing songs, and that in my band's a similar sort of thing. We're starting to work with outside writers for the first time. How did it influence you guys? Oh, it was easy. He didn't, he didn't like, write any parts for it. Like, yeah. we wrote every song, and he just would suggest, he'd say, do, th he'd say, do this three times instead of six, or put this here and move that there. And we have, like, a habit of sort of writing songs and, like, first course, let's, no, that's the way it has to be done yeah. really fast, and he just sort of showed us how to, you know, maybe we should try something else, I guess. Now we're going to get to all the really important questions, all right? Uh, a band that you guys play with and my band play with, Furnace Face, they're on tour right now, and they have a, uh, an endorsement deal with Hush Puppies. They have free Hush Puppies wherever they go. Now, if you guys could have an endorsement deal from anybody, who would it be? Hillroy Scribblers. <laughs> now, why Hillroy Scribblers? Because that's where I write my lyrics in. <laughs> and do you guys like the old Atlantis or the new Atlantis? Oh, the old stuff. Classic rock. Uh, the classic rock, Alanis? How much do you think, uh, what kind of percentage is Peter and uh, Ace getting? Of the new... Of the new stuff. How much do you think they're getting? What do you think their percentage is? Like, <laughs> quantify that little thing you have right there. But they're, so they're not really in it for the money, they're just in it for the spotlight. Instead of going... They and can... two people go, yeah! <laughs> now they're playing to clean thousands. Now, who would win in a fight? You guys or BTO? <laughs> We weighed ourselves all together, and it's like 800 and some pounds. I think we're, I think we're Canada's heaviest band. Yeah. Well, the Monoxides would kill them, obviously. Monoxides would beat anybody at anything. Randy Bachman. <laughs> yeah, like it would definitely... Oh, look at the guns. Zoom in on the guns there. And what's the, uh, the planning uh, tour, planning agenda? What's going on with that? We're gonna tour our butts off. Yeah. When does that start? Like Marchish or what? Probably March. Probably Marchish or Aprilish. Right. Okay, that's about it. Uh, rock and roll. 